Hello, I'm Mark Newton, the Managing Director for Rigby Gunmakers. Welcome to Pensbury Place. I'd like to show you our workshop and showroom. So this is uh, regarded by many as, uh, I suppose, hallowed ground. There's so many uh, interesting historical pieces in this room. Uh, the company ledgers, our museum behind us here, which I can walk through and show you. Uh, historical hunting books and gun making books. We're very lucky here to have many different examples of guns and rifles that the company has made over, over the centuries. Moving over to one of them in particular, the Jim Corbett 275 rifle, which we acquired two or three years ago now. Probably the most famous and well written about sporting rifle in the world. Moving over here, some of our accessories. Uh, some phenomenal examples of historical taxidermy, which have uh, all been presented to us by different customers uh, over the years, all hunted with Rigby rifles. And then our gun racks here, and we've highlighted four of them in the middle that we would like to show you. So from, from the left-hand side, we have an example of our Highland Stalker. Now the Highland Stalker is our deer stalking plains game hunting rifle. Available in five calibers, 275, 308, 3006, 8 for 57 and 9.3 for 62. These are built in collaboration with Mauser, as we've historically done for many years, which really, I suppose, made the company as famous as it is at the turn of the last century. This is a particularly elaborate example of the Highland Stalker, uh, with some gold inlay, as you can see here on the floor plate, and the gold serial number on the trigger guard. These start at about £7,500 and they've been incredibly popular um, by, by hunters and Rigby enthusiasts all over the world. I suppose we've produced four or five hundred examples of this in the last few years. We then got the big game model, which was the first model that we relaunched when we repatriated the company to London in 2013. This is available in three calibers and is built on the Magnum Mauser design. 375 Holland and Holland, 416 Rigby and 450 Rigby. We produce it in two different formats. One with a single square bridge, which is the traditional Rigby design, and then a double square bridge if you wanted to have a scope mounted on there. So this example here has a beautiful double R inlaid on the bottom in gold and a great piece of wood. Important thing to mention with all of these rifles and shotguns when we uh, when we produce them for you is that your name is entered into these ledgers that you can see below below the rack here. So every gun we've ever made is in these books, and uh, it doesn't matter if it's a Harlem Stalker or a Rising Bite. Your name and your details go in there with the details of the gun. At the higher end of our range, we have the London Best, and the London Best again we relaunched in 2013. This is built on a, on a Magnum Mauser action, this is a 416, this example. We can produce any calibre rifle that the customer may ask us for, everything from a 223 up to a 505 Gibbs and everything in between. This has got, a, again, an exceptional piece of wood and the customer asked us to produce a rifle that was very in keeping with the vintage designs uh, that were produced between 1912 and 1940. There was about 189 of those, and they're some of the most sought-after rifles in the world. Looking inside, just the level of detail of polish and finish that the guys put on these. You know, the working parts are very similar to that of the big game and the Highland Stalker. It's just the level of finish that goes into these and the, the handwork. This one also features a Holland and Holland clip detachable scope mount. At the top of the range, we have the Rising Bite, which is perhaps the, the most famous of the four models that we produce now. And this is a, a fabulous example in 500 Nitro Express. It's one of the first 20 that we produced when the company came back, each of which is marked with a enamel and silver disc on the grip cap made by Melissa Rigby, the great granddaughter of John Rigby, who designed this design. The Rising Bite gets its name from this little mechanism here. So you can see there's a horseshoe top extension on the barrels. That engages into the top of the action, and a third bite comes up and locks it into place. So it's very, very strong and very, very reliable. This example is engraved by Phil Coggan. Uh, the customer ordered a pair of these rifles, one of them based on jungle animals of Central Africa, 
and the second one a 470 based on jungle animals of India, which is due to be finished very shortly. I'll pop that back into the rack. Now, we're very proud of Rigby's because we produce some very, very nice stuff, and we, we're very lucky that we're able to do this on site. So we're one of the very few places where we make the guns at the back and we sell them at the front here. So we'll walk through to the factory, and I'll let the camera step ahead. I'm just going to pop my mask on in the background here so that we're COVID secure. So we have uh, Loic here. Loic's one of our junior craftsmen. He's currently working on a 300 London Best with a beautiful piece of wood. He's uh, building up the layers of finish. Um, so you can see this, uh, this piece of wood earlier this morning had some oil applied to it. Uh, that oil has then uh, sort of got, not gone fully hard, but like a sort of hard jelly, like a marmalade. And then we rub this back with a cutting agent and that allows us to build up layers of oil which fill the grain and eventually give it that beautiful deep finish that we're looking for. Everything is done completely by hand on the finishing, as you can see. And this is one of my particular favorite bits of wood. Behind us here, we have Bertrand. Bertrand is uh, one of our double gun uh, uh, gun makers. He's working on one of our rising bite shotguns. We've got many of these in production at the moment. They've been incredibly popular since we relaunched them last year. This is a 12 bore. It's one of a pair, uh, which is being engraved by our in-house engraver, Geoffrey Lignon, with uh, um, different gold birds. So the customer actually ordered a set of 10 guns and rifles, and he wanted every game species that we could think of uh, engraved onto those guns in a, in a very, very elaborate set. And we'll step over here, we have some of the chaps away on some holiday at the moment. Uh, Nelson at the Proof House. Nelson, this is his little bench space here. He is uh, he's our factory factory foreman and manager, and uh, he looks after all the guys for us. This is Brees, our head finisher. He's currently working on a 500 rising bite. Um, you can see he's polishing the trigger blade, uh, preparing everything to go for hardening. And if I can step in behind, this is the action for that trigger. This is ordered by a customer from the United States who is very, very fond of sheep, sheep hunting. Um, so he actually asked us to carve these, uh, these, these sheep horns onto the top of the action. I've, I've never seen anything done like this before on a, on a best gun. And in fact, you can see the, the lock plate, one of the lock plates just here. It's really exquisite stuff. This one's engraved, or carved, shall I say, by Cecile Fromont. Let's pop this back here so we don't lose any parts. And behind us we have Tamish. Tamish uh, has two roles for us here at Rigby's. Uh, he works on some of the London best guns, the big games and the Harlem Stalkers. And he also looks after all of our parts in our parts room. So we have one member of staff who issues out the materials uh, so that we, we make sure that we, we build, build the kits together before it comes into the factory for, for gun making. So we set through the woodworking part of the, the room. We have Martin, our head double gun stock maker. He's working on the sister shotgun to the, the shotgun we saw at the front there. This is uh, a 12 bore with those gold birds I was talking about. So it's been uh, mapped out now, ready for engraving. And Martin is currently um, just cleaning up the, the wood, um, starting the grain sealing, which is something we like to do with the, the metal parts in there. And then the metal parts go off for final engraving. This just means that we get a better finish on the gun uh, when we final assemble it. And behind us, uh, we have Vladimir. Uh, Vlado is um, working on a uh, Highland Stalker at the moment. He produces stocks for us in uh, London Best, Big Game, and, uh, and the Highland Stalker. And this is, uh, this is an example in 300 wing mag. You can see he's uh, just finishing up, letting in a barrel on that one there. So, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that we can see you soon when we're not having to wear masks and uh, we can show you show you around our lovely facilities thank you